Ever felt lost in the world of tech jargon? Imagine a labyrinth of complex terms and phrases where every turn introduces a new, perplexing concept. This is the world many beginners find themselves in. A world where blockchain isn't a toy and cloud doesn't mean fluffy white things in the sky. But fear not, for this video is your compass, your guide to navigating this maze. We promise to break down these terms into a language as simple as ABC. Stay tuned as we unravel the mysteries of tech jargon. First up, we have algorithm. Sounds complicated, right? But let me assure you, it's not as intimidating as it sounds. In fact, you're using algorithms every day without even realizing it. So what is an algorithm? It's simply a step-by-step -step procedure or a set of rules to follow to solve a particular problem. Think of it like a recipe. If you want to bake a cake, you follow a recipe, right? The recipe tells you the ingredients you need and the steps you need to follow to bake the cake. Algorithms work in a similar way. They're used in computer programs to solve problems or accomplish tasks. For example, the Google search engine uses an algorithm to determine which web pages to show you when you type in a search query. In essence, algorithms are everywhere, guiding our digital lives, making things easier, faster and more efficient. So an algorithm is just a set of instructions to solve a problem. Next on our list is blockchain. Ever wondered what it really means? Imagine a digital ledger, much like a traditional bookkeeper's ledger, but instead of being kept in one place, it's distributed across multiple computers worldwide. This ledger records transactions in a series of blocks. Now, each block contains a list of transactions, and once a block is filled up, it's added to the chain of previous blocks, hence the term blockchain. The real beauty of blockchain is its transparency and security. Each transaction is visible to all participants and can't be altered retroactively, making it a secure and trustworthy system. This technology powers cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Every time someone sends or receives Bitcoin, the transaction is recorded in a block and added to the chain. But don't let the crypto talk limit your understanding. Blockchain is being explored for other uses too, from supply chain management to voting systems. In essence, a blockchain is a public, unchangeable record of transactions. Moving on, let's break down cloud computing. Imagine a world where you don't need to cram your device with documents, photos or software. Instead, these items exist somewhere out there in the digital ether. This is the essence of cloud computing. Now think about your email. You don't download every single email to your device. Do you know you access them via the internet? This is a basic example of cloud computing. Let's level up a bit. Google Drive, Dropbox. These are platforms where you can store files and access them from any device with an internet connection. That's cloud computing in action. Cloud computing is not about your hard drive. It's about using the internet to store, manage and process data. This means you can access your data from anywhere at any time without worrying about storage space on your device. So cloud computing is just storing and accessing data over the internet instead of your computer's hard drive. Now let's tackle machine learning. Think it's tough? Think again. Machine learning at its core is like teaching a toddler. The more experiences we expose a toddler to, the more they learn and grow. Similarly, machine learning is the process by which computers learn to improve their performance by exposure to data over time. Let's break it down. Imagine you're watching your favorite show on Netflix. Ever noticed how Netflix suggests shows you might like? That's machine learning at work. The system learns from your viewing habits and suggests similar content. The more you watch, the better it gets at predicting what you'll enjoy next. Or consider YouTube. Ever wondered how it knows what video to play next? Again, machine learning. It learns from the videos you've watched and liked, the ones you've skipped and the ones you've watched till the end. Then it uses this knowledge to recommend videos you're likely to enjoy. In essence, machine learning is all about patterns. It's about teaching a computer to recognize patterns in data and then use those patterns to make predictions or decisions. It's not about the computer understanding the content, but about understanding the patterns that the data forms. And the best part, as more data is fed into the system, it gets better and more accurate in its predictions. Just like a toddler learning to walk, then run, then jump. So machine learning is simply the process by which computers learn to improve their performance by exposure to data over time. Finally, let's demystify Internet of Things. Sounds futuristic, doesn't it? But in reality, it's a part of our everyday lives, often without us even realizing it.
The Internet of Things, or IoT as it's often abbreviated, is a vast network of things that are connected to the Internet. And when we say things, we mean just about anything. From your smartphone to your refrigerator, your car to your smartwatch, if it's connected to the Internet, it's part of the IoT. Let's break it down a bit further. Imagine waking up in the morning to the smell of coffee brewing. Your smart coffee maker, which is part of the IoT, has prepared your morning brew just in time for you to wake up. It's connected to your alarm clock, which is also part of the IoT, so it knows when to start brewing. Now, what makes this possible? It's all thanks to a combination of wireless networks, internet connectivity, and sensors. These sensors are embedded in the devices, enabling them to collect data, interact with each other, and even make decisions based on the information they gather. The goal of the IoT is to create a seamless world where devices interact with one another to make our lives easier and more efficient. Imagine a world where your car knows your daily routine and can automatically adjust its settings to suit your schedule, or a fridge that can order groceries when it detects that you're running low on certain items. That's the power of the IoT. But it's not just about convenience. The IoT is also about generating data. Every interaction, every command, every response is a piece of data that can be analyzed to improve services, predict trends, or even help solve complex problems. In the grand scheme of things, the IoT is about creating a more connected world, a world where devices talk to each other to make our lives easier. In simple terms, the Internet of Things is the concept of connecting any device to the Internet and to other devices. So, there you have it. Five tech terms broken down into simple language. Let's take a moment to reflect on what we've learned today. We started off with the term algorithm, which is essentially a set of instructions or rules that a computer follows to solve a problem or achieve a particular goal. It's like a recipe that your computer uses to whip up the perfect digital dish. Next, we delved into the world of blockchain. Think of it as a digital ledger, a record book that's virtually impossible to tamper with. It's the backbone of cryptocurrencies, but its potential extends far beyond that, revolutionizing sectors like healthcare, finance, and supply chain management. Then we ventured into the clouds, not the fluffy ones in the sky, but cloud computing. This is the practice of using a network of remote servers hosted on the internet to store, manage, and process data rather than a local server or a personal computer. It's like storing your belongings in a safe locker, accessible from anywhere in the world. Our journey continued as we unraveled machine learning. This is a type of artificial intelligence that provides systems the ability to learn and improve from experience without being explicitly programmed. It's like teaching a child to recognize shapes. Over time, the child learns and can identify these shapes without any assistance. Finally, we demystified the term Internet of Things. This is the concept of connecting any device with an on and off switch to the Internet and to each other. It's like having a symphony of devices, all playing in harmony, making our lives easier and more efficient. Understanding these terms is vital in today's digital age. They're not just buzzwords. They're the building blocks of the digital world we navigate daily. Knowing what they mean and how they work empowers us to adapt and thrive in an ever-evolving technological landscape. Remember, tech jargon isn't as intimidating as it seems. With a bit of curiosity and patience, you can decode the language of the future.